All right, welcome back. Uh, this is round one here. Uh, Conley Woods, TCG player, bringing you this Demir Drazi uh, deck. Look at my opening hand real quick. I'm a little worried because two Reality Smashers with only two lands scares me, but everything else is castable, so I'm probably going to keep this. I'm also on the draw. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's run this. He's not. Okay. Looks <laughs> like they're just not gonna play land. We're gonna grab. Oh, nice. Okay. We're gonna grab a uh, duel with this on turn one. I'm not sure what our turn two play is gonna be. It's gonna depend on what he casts. He live with basic swamp, so he could basically be anything right now. Two basic. So he's probably got stuff like Grasp of Darkness in his deck. Grab Sunken Hollow. Alright, I kind of want to just lead with the Transgress. It doesn't give away our deck at all, and uh, we have two of them. And I have no idea what he's doing over there, and I'd, be, I'd like to know. If he's got a handful of removal running out, either of my creatures is kind of bad. Alright, two Grasps. So I'm just going to take Grave Birthing here. Um, and then take Kalidus next turn. Wait, is Great Birth even worth taking? Does it do anything? Doesn't do anything. I guess I'm just gonna take Kalidus, sure. Great Birth really doesn't do anything. <laughs> I mean, it draws my card. But I can just, uh, I could probably transgress him the turn after and get there. So I can, like, hmm. If I transgress him right now, he's gonna either he's gonna cast Great Birthing in response. And I have two new cards to look at. I think it's probably worth it here. Okay, three swamps, two grasps. So these reality smashers should be huge. And I could also play the Infiltrator to eat up uh, two of his grasps. If he, well, if he wants to guarantee it dies, two of his grasps. Because he can't wait to see if the ability hits or not. Lanro Waste again is basically a swamp that has for colorless mana, so. Left it alive. Alright, matter reshaper. I can kind of take that. I don't necessarily want to cast the matter reshaper yet because I don't want my infiltrator to just die. So I'm going to cast the Fathom Feeder here, eat a grasp. Oh, he's going to try to grasp this. Um, sure. Hit a land, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so we got a free grasp out of his hand. Which is not the worst. I'm just gonna wait to the end of his turn and play it again. He can grasp immediately. That's fine, because then I'll probably be very close to having Reality Smashers online. Sure. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine him tapping out here. He's paying costs. I don't know what that means. He has main deck infinite obliterations. Uh, okay. 
I don't I don't really understand that. I don't even know what he's gonna name. He's literally seen one creature out of us. He can probably assume something like Thought Knots in my deck. As long as he doesn't name Reality Smasher, I think I'm okay though. Please don't name Reality Smasher. This is the part where I'm happy I'm not streaming, because then if he did name Reality Smasher and I was streaming and not recording, I would just feel like he was stream watching me the whole time. He is in the tank. Oh, you guys. No! Oh my gosh. That did not just happen. How did he know? How did he know? That was actually just the biggest blowout ever. It, like, invalidated this. And... <sighs> didn't have that in his hand either when I transgressed him twice. That's such a tilt. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just gonna play this and pay the kicker. Clean up one of his guys. He's obviously going to sacrifice the mana guy, but that's fine. Just gonna. Actually, I'm not going to attack here. Let me think about this. No, I'll wait a turn. If I draw another Bearer of Silence or. Um, I guess just a land or something, I'm probably going to Titan, one of Titan's presence anyway. I know he still has one, okay, he has one grasp. And now he gets a 2-2 two -two because of that. That sucks. Strange attack. <laughs> Not sure I agree with it. Not a bad draw. Okay, so now we're gonna kill this with revealing anything, I guess. I guess the matter reshapers it's less equal to a lesson. So he gets to kill our guy, but that's all he gets. We deal with Cletus. Our hand's still pretty good. And I get in for two damage, which is not the worst. Uh, the infinite obliteration haunts me. It haunts me. I'm just gonna play. I even have these to counter main deck <laughs> infinite obliteration. I'm just gonna play a two drop and leave open warping wheel. If he leaves this back to block, I'm gonna eat it with warping wheel. If he does, because uh, I also just want to get another card in my graveyard. Because when I do eventually cast this inverter, I just want to have as many cards there as possible. But I don't really understand these beats by him. I'm obviously dealing more damage. So this one I understand, <clears throat> but he's not gonna <laughs> counter target sorcery is a good ability, my friends. Boom. Uh, okay, he scooped. <laughs> Apparently, the uh, the counter target sorcery spell was too strong. All right, so. Hmm. I really don't know what I want to bring in. He's like mono black control. 
like Reality Smasher is definitely a good card. I don't necessarily want to go all in against Infinite Obliteration. That said, I have the Warping Wheels main deck. I could bring in a Negate. I really don't need the. Uh, actually, he's got Kalidus. I do kind of have to worry about Kalidus. But then again, I don't have to worry too much about Kalidus. He has to make it into play through Transgress, Bear of Silence, Inverter, or Thought Knots here. Huh. This card's not great early, but it's pretty good. Man, I don't know what to do against him. All my cards seem pretty reasonable. I guess Wasteland Strangler's not that great. Look at one Fathom Feeder, two Wasteland Stranglers, being in a couple duresses. Uh, Negate came in for one Titan's Presence. I'm leaving one main just to deal with Kalidus. I don't think he has anything else that's worthy of it. I could bring in the Virulent Plagues uh, because we saw Grave Birthing, but I don't know how many more token things. He's like Mono Black, so I suspect he's not going to have many. I could bring in Horribly Awry instead of Titan's Presence. That also deals with I Pilgrim's Eye, but... That's okay. I think I'm just going to leave it like this. Alright. Let's go to game two. Alright, welcome back to game two of round one here. Playing with our Demir... Eldrazi deck. Uh, this hand is kind of sweet, but also has a lot of expensive cards and only two lands. I feel like if he just infinite obliterates me, I'm just dead. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna mulligan this. There's just too many expensive cards. All right, this hand's a much more, much more palpable. I'll throw this on the bottom, which doesn't really matter because we're gonna shuffle right away. Nice, nice with the duress. Our last hand also would have whiffed the duress, I think. So, there's that. Okay, we're not going to break this Polluted Delta on turn one. We're going to play a Sunken Hollow on turn one. Now, Polluted Delta is effectively just a swamp. There's actually only one island in the deck, one Sunken Hollow, and then a bunch of swamps. We're just going to end the turn this guy. He does much more damage than Fathom Feeder. He'll probably meet a Grasp of Darkness or something along those lines, but... Maybe not. Hit a Duress, that's a pretty good draw. I'm a little worried about Kalidus. He doesn't have Kalidus. He has two Read the Bones, Grasp, and Languish. I'm not worried about Languish or Grasp. I guess I'm just taking a Read the Bones for now. And I'm definitely not trading my 2 1 for his 1 1, so I'm just going to sit here for a bit. That makes up for his whiff duress earlier. He's attacking. Wow. Okay. I don't really understand the two for one strategy personally, but to each his own. Like, if he was the aggro deck, it could be worth it, but he's neither the aggro deck nor getting a profitable trade in the abstract, so it just doesn't make too much sense. I'm just going to break this now for a swamp. 
I'm gonna do it eventually, and I wanna get F6 value. Alright, we take language, he's got a transgress and two grasps. So his transgress is basically dead. Because I can't imagine a strong something expensive not casting it. Oh, he's just gonna run it out there. So he whiffed on transgress and duress this game. That's pretty nice. So now, if he wants to guarantee this dies, he needs to grasp it in response, which he can't do. I hit a languish. Okay, so my thing does die. So he's got a grasp and an unknown in his hand. So we definitely don't play this till we can get a card out of it. I'm going to play this just to break and thin. Cause he also knows about it. We already shuffled from putting that first blue to delta on the bottom, so the shuffle there doesn't matter. That's actually, this time it is actually just purely thinning. But the bigger reason just to do that is to, uh, to F6. Alright, what is this? Cletus? No. Old Titan. Hmm. It's kind of, it's kind of bad for us. That's kind of big. Um, is it correct just to play Fathom Feeder so that way it gets grasped? Because at that point I could just win with Inverter Truth. I'll have no cards in hand, or an unknown card, I guess. I'll have Seagate Wreckage going, Fathom Feeder will be in the graveyard. I think, I think this is what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I take six, go to nine. He's going to grasp this. Untap. Maybe draw a spell if I do. That's awesome. Because then I can uh, feed Inverter a little bit more. But I should be able to win with Inverter, assuming he doesn't draw. I don't even know what, what removal spell he could draw, but... draw anything there. So six cards. Two of them are creatures. Otherwise we're just trying to just trying to win before we lose. Uh oh, what did he draw? Murderous cut was his top deck. At least I get that card back. Oh, that was savage. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> Murderous cutted. Alright, um, now I really want to bring it horribly awry, though, because now we've seen multiple... It's probably even better than Titan's Presence. It's almost certainly better than Wasteland Stringer, too. I still like Inverter of Truth. It just... It just got a, we just got a little unlucky there. We ripped apart his hand. Man, that's that's sucky. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to cut any other one card. I might just cut one horribly awry and leave three in. Cause I do want the reality smashers and the thought knot still. Cause those are like my bread and butter. All right, let's go to game three. Alright, welcome back to round one, game three here. Collinwoods, TCGplayer.com. Uh, thank you for joining me. We're playing with uh, Demir Eldrazi Acro Midrange-ish. 
I don't really know what it is. I just made all that up. But it's a thing. We're doing it. This hand's pretty decent. We have a solid two drop, two four drops, and a five drop. The bearer we can obviously cast a little bit earlier if we need to, but considering he has Erebos' Titan and uh, Kalidus, I think I would rather have have that in hand. I'm going to leave the crossroads since Crumbling uh, Vestige makes black mana for this on turn two. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. Alright, let's get a peaky. Peaky Peaks, Kalidus, Infinite Obliteration. Huh. I can get this Kalidus with a Thought Knot. I kind of just want to take the uh, Infinite Obliteration. But then again, it's like... If he names Thought Knot, I would be screwed. And he's going to name either Thought Knot or Reality Smasher, most certainly. So I think I take the infinite obliteration and then I thought not away like languish and then I get his Kalidus with uh, the bearer of silence. If I didn't have both reality smasher and thought not in my hand, which are I think are the two most likely things to be named by infinite obliteration, I wouldn't actually worry about the card. But losing one of those two lines is pretty bad for me here. Alright, play the ruins. Ruins is very, very strong. One of the strongest cards in the deck, in my opinion. Alright, let's jam this guy. Could wait a turn to make him a 5 5 to live through Languish, but I'm not actually worried about him one for one my thought not. And a great birthing first, sure. Now he's even less likely the language now that he made that thing. But he's got a palace siege. Don't want to steal palace siege. I have no in a way to interact with palace siege other than right now, so. And he's got two ways to kill my guy anyway. Sure. I can't imagine he just plays Kalidus next turn. I think he's gonna either grasp or languish. But if he does, yeah, he just grasped, okay. I can get in there with the Reality Smasher this turn, which is a pretty big game. I don't get to put encounters on it. It's rare you get to put a counter on a Reality Smasher. But the thing is, his hand doesn't actually deal with this very well. If he plays Kalidus, I could draw a land and build a Warping Whale and Barrow Silence. Otherwise, I could still just drop a couple of threats, which is not the worst. Wait, what is he doing now? He's casting another Creeper. Okay. Is it Kalidus von Kalidus stroke? Oh no, he drew the murderous cut. So he's he's two for one himself and he took five damage, so it's not that bad for me. I'm still pretty well off in the trade. That's pretty good. All right, so I'm pretty sure what I'm going to do here is Dimensional Infiltrator at the end of his turn, Warping Whale, that token. Um, untap and Bearer of Silence, the Kalidus he's going to cast. And then I'll have Seagate Records to re recoup mana cards. I have two Orange Reefs, one of which is going to get a counter this turn, two of which are going to get a counter next turn. Oh, he's going to cast this guy. I'll wait to give it a counter until the end of turn. Or till he attacks, I guess. I assume he's not naming Bearer of Science here. It's going to be Thought Knot or Reality Smasher. 
But I have two ruins, so I can win with basically any creatures. Because all my creatures get plus two, plus two for the rest of the game. Well, not all of them, but every non-Reality Smasher. Which, I think he just might name Reality Smasher. I'm not sure. Inverter Truth is pretty bad for me to draw right now, considering I both A, can't cast it, and B, only one card in my graveyard. Yeah, you need thought knots here. If he attacks, I'm gonna block him and put oh he didn't attack. It's not the worst, since considering I couldn't cast some of my cards, and now I can. What is this? Do murderers cutting my guy? Wow, that is. This feels rather aggressive, I must say. gonna have to grab a swamp here which is not that bad instead of sunken owl because I want to get a counter on my creature at the end of his turn again he'll probably play Kalidus despise I think I just have to counter this Alright, I guess I could have not broken my blood semi right away. <laughs> F6 value cost me. Ooh, that was a good draw. Right. I can't actually cast Infiltrator plus Horribly Orion in the same turn, so... Gotta be a little picky with that, but... Can't actually cast Murderous Cut. So I'm free to just do this. I'm just going to put one counter on this guy so I can have a uh, horribly awry open, I think. Horribly awry and returning this, I suppose. Both pretty valuable. Alright, little guy beat down. Little 2 1 flyer beat down. I didn't spend the extra counter. At least I got a shot at returning this. Nope. I hit a Titan. Alright. Alright. I'm definitely just going to cast this and put two counters on it. We have a, another one, so it's not a big deal. And a horribly awry. And he's at 11, so having a 4 3 flyer is a pretty big deal. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs>
Horribly right does not play all the well as Seagate records when he's not casting creatures. I suppose that's a sad fate. He's gonna cast a creature too this turn while my while my defenses are down. But I'm not obviously not gonna cast I'm not gonna not play this here. He draws me cards next turn anyway. I think I can activate his for abilities, can't I? No to cast a spell with it. Oh no. But he drew a swamp, so that's good. So I can't actually activate my Fathom Feeder right now. That's a first. Eat that languish. Transgressed. You knew my card. You literally knew my card. <laughs> alright, alright. We're doing it. Eat a swamp. I'd like to cast a five four flyer. <laughs> Alright, we got round one. It was a little bit more of a grind than I would have hoped, but Ruins of Warren Weave pulling through, as always. Uh we'll be back back for round two. Conley Woods, TCG player, playing some Demir, Eldrazi. See you shortly.